Strawberry cheesecake. We are here to celebrate Brooks' birthday. Also, Brooks has just received his exam results. As usual, Brooks was first in his class. For your birthday and to reward your performance at school, I've decided to buy you a car, Brooks. I put the money in your checking account, so tomorrow you can go and choose the one you want. around for long. We'll get bored with her, just like the others. Think that's what happened to our mother? We got bored with her? Japanese cars. your jacket.
Excuse me. Can I buy one of these? Um, do you know where I... Excuse me. Hello. I've invited the Lonesteins over this evening. I think you should meet their daughter, Pamela. I think you'll like her looks. Try and make a good impression. Hi, Dad. He's gonna get some nooky. You know why he wants you to meet Pamela, huh? It's a test. He wants to see if he can handle it. Now, she's like her sister. Hot. Very hot.
It's easy, you know. And he'll really respect you if you can pull it off. When you meet her, she's going to talk a lot. But that's okay. You just let her keep talking. But keep looking in her eyes all the time. And when you sit down, sit on the other end of the couch. And then after a few minutes, you move over and sit right beside her. All right. You put your hand on her knee. Well, probably her knees are going to be real close together, so you got to slip it right in there and just sort of slide it up, you know. But don't touch. Make her suffer a little. You know, put it on her stomach. She'll probably start to sound funny, you know, gasp or uh, maybe giggle a little. But that's okay. Don't stop. Then you just uh, slip your hand in her panties. The rest is easy. So, your father says that you'll probably go into law school. I'm going to take commerce. Yes. What I actually want to become is a, a mortgage broker. Turning on that cassette player for me, please. Oh, sure. <laughs> mortgage broking. You know, most people think it sounds really boring. But then who knows what a mortgage broker really does? <laughs> You know, it's actually very exciting. Of course, it looks simple. You, uh, you bring people who have money to lend together with people who need to borrow. And uh, you charge both parties about $100. So you make about $200 for each transaction, which really isn't a whole lot of money. But uh, the, uh, the opportunities for investment, you know, because, uh, um, you know, everything that's uh, happening in the market and uh, where the cheapest mortgages are, you know, who's looking for second mortgages and, and who just has to sell because they're because so well. What should I love to look in your eyes?
Um, I'm, I'm looking for a girl, and I don't really know her name. Uh, she's, she's got blonde hair. Who? I just wanted to explain about the... Do you understand what I'm saying? I just wanted to explain about the jacket and, um, and the mannequin. And, um... Uh, and maybe we could we could go out somewhere. Uh, just go out. I should return the mannequin. I, I don't understand that. Why? Why? speak at all? Did you understand? You're too shy. Uh, you just meet Brookie? She 
hasn't had a chance to get to know you. She doesn't know that you're a little light in the loafers. afraid of water. I don't know why. I'd really like to learn how to swim, to be able to go all the way underwater. I want, you want. I, I didn't understand that. I still don't understand that. You want to fly. Where? You want to fly to Europe? Alone?
to learn sign language. May I never see the moon on high? May I never see the stars close by? Val told me that you met a girl. She cute. She cute, huh? You gonna pork her? Cleveland, why do you keep your drugs in my room? Remember, I gave it to you for your birthday. Besides, no one would ever think of looking in your room. I'm doing you a favor. I'm learning how to sign. You're learning how to speak? Why? Why? Talk to me about it. No one would tell me anything. I think that's strange, don't you?
What does that mean? What is music like? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. concert sometime. I'm going to stay out all night and get the best tickets in the morning. You know that music you listen to? It's weird. I like it. Hey, look, I really appreciate that you were giving me a ride down here. Thank you, Brooks. It's okay, Cleveland. Look, Brooks, could you do one more thing for me? Huh? If I'm going to stay out you know, all night to get these tickets, I really think that, well, I should, I should get some sandwiches. You know? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm going to get those sandwiches, really. That's okay, Brooks, but... Look, could you do something for me, huh? Could you just, uh, save my place in the line? It's really incredible, huh, this lineup? Yeah, look, about last night, you know, I'm really sorry about that. It's just, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. See ya. Got 
got me where you want me and i hope you're satisfied you got me where you want me and you hardly even tried a single look was all i took and starry eyed i watched my poor old heart go on that roller coaster ride i say i won't grow tender but i know darn well i will my hopes are pretty slender and my chances almost nil why should i try to alibi when anyone can see you got me where you want me and it's where i want to be good da good da Have you been wearing your hearing aids all the time? Now remember, lip reading is not enough. You need to hear some sounds too. Have you been speaking a lot this week, Anne? No, not enough. Are you still planning to go to Europe? Yeah. Yes. 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 Now remember, Anne. Your speech target sound is S. Okay, let's all do it. S. S. The tongue goes behind the alveolar ridge. Behind the front teeth. And you blow gently. C. C. Sit. Sun. Sun. Soup. Soup. Sand. Sand. Repeat after me. Goodbye until Wednesday. Goodbye, Goodbye until, until Wednesday. Wednesday. Anne, could you stay for a minute, please? So how's it going? I met a phone. I've heard about him. When did you meet him? Last week. And he can hear. You like him a lot? <laughs> Come on. You know, at first with a hearing person, it can be very exciting. It's different for them. Fun. But it will always be hard for them to communicate. Hearing people sometimes, they get impatient. They don't want to be in a deaf world anymore. He is different. Paul is talking about you in sign language. I know. Louise thinks I'm an animal. <laughs> no. That's man's body. She thinks. Oh, 
she said, you have a nice body. I'm coming from the country where they don't have to speak sadly. I am going to speak, but I'm going to hear a You said you had really good seats. They're here. Okay? I look at you with emotion like a child feeling everything. Brooks, I've arranged for you to see an old friend of mine, Bruno Davis. Bruno is the best in his business, and you're lucky to have an opportunity to meet with him. Don't be late for your appointment. He'll see you at 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, 
You are having a power struggle with your father, which is very natural. Just as we, just as you, had a power struggle with your mother when you were a young child, which is also very natural. Now, together, you and I must try to understand these struggles. So, we must start at the very beginning. and I are leaving for Paris tomorrow afternoon. Ah, uh, son. Oh, this must be your friend that Cleavy told us about. Hello, my name is Mimi. I'm a friend of Brooks's father, Ali. Hello? Anne's deaf. Oh. I see. 
Death. Uh, oh, Death. That's nice. Understand there. Oh, uh, are you ashamed of me because I am deaf? No. No. Some more of your unconventional behavior has come to my attention, and it is no longer possible to ignore it. Your brother and I have found some drugs in your room. They're no mine. Things have gone too far, Brooks. Cocaine is not unusual in a teenage boy, but it is particularly distressing in combination with some other behavior. This um, fascination with certain organic substances and would indicate what we call fetishism. Which would seem to indicate institutionalization. You mean sending Brooks to a sanitarium? No, 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 no. A residential treatment facility. Where he could perhaps be treated with, with, with the ECT and megavitamins. It is your opinion that Brooks should be sent to a psychiatric hospital? Uh, yeah. I think Brooks and I should be alone. Did you have a good time at the concert? They want to send you to a sanatorium. You can be crazy if you want to be. No one will care what sort of pictures you take. No one will care what you really think if you keep up appearances. Do you understand? There are going to be some changes. When I return, your room will be remodeled. There'll be no more mannequins, 
motorcycles with sidecars, or photographic displays. And while we're in Europe, your brother will look after the house, and you will stay with your Aunt Elsa. And you will not upset her. Do you understand? Be like I do. No wonder you wonderful you. You got two eyes that I couldn't resist. What chance did I have when your lips said I wanna be kissed? Oh no wonder I'm talking out loud. No wonder my head's in the cloud. You're just like sunshine from heaven above. No wonder I'm in love. No wonder. Bless us, O oh Lord, for these are gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Are you going to sleep here tonight? Yes, sir. Hmm. That, uh... Motorcycle of yours, a four stroke? I, I, I don't know. When you put in the gas, do you mix the oil and the gas? No. It's four stroke. Japanese. Japanese make everything these days. It's an overhead cam? I don't know. Probably. Did you hear that? Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Carburetor. Say it all. It has two carburetor. Wonderful. <laughs> Do you know where the idle screw is? No. Do you know what this is? No. Everything's made in Japan. When she was a little kid, she was almost like a boy. She used to run all around every place. Nobody figured out she was deaf until she was about four years old. Doctors said that's not too strange. Of course, you'd want to start believing doctors. I just figured she was kind of stupid. You know, nothing wrong with that. I just thought she was a little slow learning how to talk. And we found out she was deaf. We were real proud of her. 
getting along like that, her being deaf. Now she learned how to speak. She can do anything she sets her mind to it. Now she wants to travel. You uh, don't know what this is. It's the metric that's the problem, and it's the Japanese that invented the metric. Why don't you stay here tonight and we'll talk? Fuck, father. My father's coming back tomorrow night. He's coming back. Well, you'll have to write. She says she's going to Europe next week. You know what this is?
Since I've met you, everything. You can't leave now. Why are you doing this to me? I love you. For me, it's important. I want to go alone. I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing. all this for, huh? We're both competing for our father's attention. So, to get attention, he has to pull all these crazy stunts. That's what the shrink said. It has to be bizarre. Like with pictures, and the mannequin. And now he's got himself a girlfriend. But she's really weird, too. See, he got himself a deaf girlfriend. So he could gross everybody out. He thinks it's all just an act. It's not an act. You really are sick, Brooks. Are you deaf, Brooks? <laughs> yeah. I 
just want my picture back, Cleavy. You want your picture? Okay. Come get it. You know something, Brooks? You really are a sicko. That's why you got a girlfriend who's a cripple. Tell me something, Brooks. Can she hear you when you're screwing her?